Hi folks, David here with Destination Human. And I wanted to get on with you about our solar dehydrator and its testing. Now we started the test a, a couple days ago, that's why it uh, you haven't seen any results from it because we had some bad weather come up on us. We also found out that while we were starting up the test that there was a lot of humidity still in the box. So uh, we've given it a couple days to dry out here, give everything a, a, a fresh restart. It is uh, about one o'clock in the afternoon now. Sun is almost directly overhead. We got good penetration on the on the solar absorber. And I've had this up and running for just about five minutes. And we'll come in here and we'll take a look at what we got going on. And I have a couple probes sitting out. Right now you see uh, 77.1, 77.0. That happens to be this probe right here. And it's in the shade. I'm going to have to move it back a little bit because the sun's starting to creep in on it there. And it's basically to, to get the airflow that's coming in through this vent. That's right underneath here. Right there. And just to see what the air temperature is coming in. The other probe. Now up to 97, 98 degrees, which has been slowly rising since I closed it up. And that probe, again, is up in the top of this box. It's right at the very entrance, right in there. Oh goodness, we've got a helicopter visiting us. Say hi guys. And we'll get back to his. Still holding at about 97. Okay. Here I have a sling psychometer and it measures the humidity that's in the air. And this number here, the very first one, if I can get my finger in it, that one right there, that is dry bulb. Or excuse me, that's wet bulb, excuse me, wet bulb, dry bulb, and the number here is the relative humidity that's in the air right now, it's almost 40%, nope, it is 40%, it's been changing a little bit as the wind's been shifting back and forth, and the last probe is up here on the exhaust, and it's just getting started, so right now I've got 80 80.1 degree air coming out of this. So, as we're doing some testing again, I will keep you updated. I'll be back in just a few. Okay, we're back. We've had the uh, unit up and running for a couple hours now. We've turned it 90 degrees to follow the sun. It's almost directly overhead of the unit. We've got the vent in the back open up about one third of the way. And let's go down here and take a look at our our temperatures. Let's go with our first, this is our inlet. You know, still uh, fluctuating a little bit probably because of breeze. And that, that one's just hanging right below, it's in the shade. Very sensitive probe. That shows you the fluctuations that you deal with with your incoming air. Uh, outcoming at the very top of the box is 119.2 at this point in time. And it's been steadily rising. We've, uh, it was about 118 about two minutes ago. And there it is changing again. And we've reached temperatures that we can go ahead and dry um, some vegetables, uh, mostly like. Um, 
herbs and stuff like that you can do this very easily at this temperature um, thinly sliced items you can do at this temperature without too much of a problem but we're still seeing that we've got some drying to do yep, excuse me there I want to turn on my thing psychometer here get it opened up and give a wave here so that way we can read the outdoor give it just a second to reset here get it close I know relative humidity outside it is is not very high I mean That's a good place to start. Well, we, we can say it's, you know, 35 relative humidity. So, we're going to come up here and watch this. Give it a turn here so you can see what we're looking at. The box is still very, very wet from all the uh, rain. So, we're waiting for some of this to dry out, but the thing is, we've reached temperatures, even it being wet, uh, even being wet, that we can uh, uh, start drying some thinly sliced, or, you know, herbs or whatnot. Uh, we're going to keep testing this for the rest of the day and see what kind of temperatures we got. When we first started up the other day, we were reaching temperatures of up to 130 degrees without too much of a problem and uh, it was uh, we could increase it very very easily so I'll be back okay we're back again and since the last update has been about about an hour hour and a half here and our average temperature is still coming in right around 84 degrees been kind of wavering back and forth with the wind We're now up to 127.6 and it's still been rising. And that is at the very top of the box. Uh, let's see what our... Our sling psychometer says here as we set it up into place. Turn it sideways here so you can get a good idea. Go. Oh yeah, a lot of humidity still in that side that box. But here's uh, the good thing we know. Oops, darn little mishap there, but we're fine. And here's the one thing that we do know that you know with it drying out as well as it has been, it's gonna pull that moisture up out. How's the system? Well, I wanted to go ahead and show you something here too. <coughs> Get a couple of uh, readings. <coughs> Excuse me. On this box. And as you see, the underside of this is an old piece of sheet metal, old piece of ductwork. And I wanted to show you what the temperature is going to be like that's on the bottom of this because this thing is cooking. I'm going to take the sensor and I'm going to put it right up against the metal. So let the camera work for just a moment while I get this set. That is actually on the bottom of the metal. It's already up to 137 degrees right now and still rising very quickly uh, that box should be getting up to 160 or so degrees if not more and we can regulate the uh, the temperature of it once we get uh, to know how much humidity needs to come out so we can get the proper temperature across the box but all in all at this point in time it is working very, very well. Our next test is going to be uh, uh, putting some 
something that we can actually dehydrate in here. I'm going to do another update with you here in just a little bit on uh, where we sit with it as far as high temperature. We're going to see how high we can actually get it uh, inside the box there. So I'll be back here in just a little bit. And I have some black paint because I bought some so I could paint the roof of that thing. Paint the plywood black so that... Okay, these are going to be the last readings for the evening. Sun is starting to go down. Ain't got much time. But, the unit is facing almost directly in, so we're going to take a good look here. This is the evening sun. The air that's coming in is much cooler now. But, the temperatures are averaging, as far as the split is concerned, are about the same. This is one cool thing about this. I can show you the temperature difference between the two. Which has been holding at between 42 and uh, 45 degrees on average. I can't complain about that. Uh, humidity levels are still up, so that means we're still drying out the box. And first day of testing on a complete cycle has come to an end. Well, we got some ideas that we want to do here. Make a few little changes. Uh, Kevin and I were speaking about adding a, a bottom to this in sheet metal to trap more heat against this metal. Uh, we're going to try that out. Um, also, maybe putting a vent an adjustment here to be able to regulate this air coming in through the bottom here, coming in through this screen. So, <clears throat> all in all, she does work. We've reached temperatures that we can go ahead and do a lot of drying with it right now. We're going to go ahead and get a good door on it, get a good seal on it, and then run the last part of the test and see where we stand. But uh, she's running good. Folks, this is David with Destination Human. Kevin Allen, master of many things, working on another coop over there. Signing off for this one. We'll get uh, we'll get you another update as soon as we can. Y'all take care. Love, light, and peace. We'll catch you on the next video.